electrical conductivity or electrical property okay generally the solid state substances are exhibit high conductivity property ranging from 27 orders 27 orders of magnitude magnitude range range 10 to the power of minus 20 to 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe so this is the ranging of magnetic property of conductivity is 10 to the power of minus 20 to 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe the conductivity that means the electrical property based on conductivity these are classified into three types one is conductors and second one is insulator and third one is semiconductors semiconductors so conductors next insulator next con semiconductors in that first one conductor conductors so in the conductor range the magnetic range of conductivity is 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe the range of conductivity for a solid state is 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe if a metallic conductor range is 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe such conductors are called as good conductors those are good metallic conductors okay the metallic conductors the conductivity range is 10 to the power of 7 ohm universe meter universe and next one second one is insulator insulators the insulator conductivity range is 10 to the power of minus 20 to 10 to the power of minus 10 ohm universe meter universe so these are also called as non-conductors so means the conductivity these are not shows conductivity property and next one is third one is semiconductors okay the semiconductors the semiconductors the conductivity range is 10 to the power of minus 10 sir 10 to the power of minus 6 to 10 to the power of 4 ohm universe meter universe means the semiconductor range is in between of in between the conductors and insulator these semiconductors are shows conductivity property very less compared to conductor and more compared to insulator the semiconductors before conducting conductors the electrical conductivity of solid state in that solid state the atomic orbitals the atomic orbitals are the atomic orbital energy from molecular orbitals are arranged together or close to together and produce a valency bond and produce valency bond the partially occupied or completely occupied high energy above the valency bond is called as conduction bond that bond is called as conduction bond okay the valency bond is having less energy and conduction bond is called as more energy so simply these are called as band now here in metals and insulators and semiconductors the range of the association between the valency bond and conduction bond represented as follows so here 
this is your conduction band is associated with valency bond okay this is your cb bond this is vc bond okay the energy gap is very less so this is your metal so the metals are shows high conductivity in solid state and molten state okay this is your first one b this is your conduction bond and valency bond okay this is vc this is cb the distance between the conduction band and valency bond means the energy gap is less okay if it is energy gap less in between conduction band and valency bond such substances are called as semiconductors and third one is here the distance between conduction band and valency bond is more okay, the distance or the energy gap is very more so such substances are called as non metals means non conductors or insulator okay so this is the arrangement means the energy gap or the gap between valency bond and conduction bond is very close to each other so those substances are called as metals so means the metals are shows high conductivity property semiconductors are shows less conductivity property compared to conductors so in that energy gap is very less because whenever the valency bond bond is heated so the chemical substance is heated from these electrons so here the presence of electrons are jumped into the conduction band because the energy gap is very less so electrons are freely delocalized in nature so those are called as semiconductors here jumping of electrons are not possible because the energy gap is very more so due to that there is no flowing of electrons there is no delocalization of electrons so such substances are called as non conductors or insulators these are shows the metals are shows conductors okay so this is your conductivity property or electrical property of solid state okay stop it okay the valency bond and conduction bond differences and arrangement 